right, a very good evening to you, um, viewers. Like once again, we are so glad to be with you. This is the Church of Nazarene Baptist District Family Forum, and um, we have enjoyed sharing with you, well, almost a year and a half now, Evan Kelman. That's correct. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey yes. of engagement, and of course, uh, you have also responded to us as well in terms of your affirmations as well as yes. uh, giving directions. So we are very, very indeed glad to be a part of you know your lives in this particular way, and I uh, wish you a very pleasant afternoon as you would engage with us this evening again. All right, and you know we are so blessed this evening to have with us in this session, um, Reverend Ruth Hine. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Right. Good afternoon to both of you, and good afternoon to all our viewers. All right, you'll hear much more from her in a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Hines is, has been a friend of us, ours for some time, and we've all worked together. Um, but today, I just want to um, use her in this capacity where she will share with us from the perspective of motherhood. That's going to be the theme of our session today. Um, by the way, blessed Mother's Day, Mother's Day to all the mothers out there today. <laughs> okay. It's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have a special mother here. A blessed day to you as well. Thank you. All Thank the you. mothers out there, and all those who may not be biological mothers, but who have mothered. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you um, mm -hmm. for touching our lives um, through the years. Um, so, Reverend Hines is a former guidance counselor um, in the secondary school system. Of course, she's a mother of four, and uh, of course, five, also five. Um, have mothered and fostered a fifth child as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, she is a very busy, engage, busily engaged. Um, she is co pastor with her husband, Murdiff, Reverend Murdiff Hines, at the Goodland New Testament Church of God. In addition to that, she is part of the um, executive, national executive of the New Testament Church of God. So she wears many hats. Uh, we are so glad to have you with us today mm -hmm. in this you. session, Reverend Hines. Mm -hmm. And at this time, even as we, just before we delve, delve into this topic of motherhood, uh, Reverend Kelly will say a prayer for us. The Father, we give you thanks, and we give you praise, we give you honor. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the gift of motherhood. Hallelujah. And we pray, God, even now that as you will share this evening, that indeed the hearts of your people, oh God, will be enlightened and challenged as well and to their best. Bless all mothers today. Yes. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, back with you. Um, before Reverend Hines um, have our introdu introductory um, presentation, that's what you read a familiar verse. I know that. Um, surely one of the passages that we often read when we talk about uh, motherhood is taken from Proverbs chapter 31. I just want to read a few verses there. It says, her children arise and call her blessed. Mm -hmm. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Okay. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works mm -hmm. bring her praise mm -hmm. at the city gate. Today we surely honor our mothers. Mm -hmm. Reverend Hines, over to you. Mm -hmm. What a privilege it is this morning and a blessing to be here to share about motherhood the gift of motherhood. Indeed, motherhood is a gift, a blessed gift from God. A gift 
that has many challenges, mm -hmm. however. Absolutely. You know, and sometimes we just focus on when we are talking, we talk about the good things, the good things. But today, I'm hoping that we can talk a bit about the, the challenges as well as the strengths mm -hmm. and some of the, of the areas that we can, as mothers, grow together, work together, so that we, we create an environment that is conducive to the healthy well-being of our children. You know, I believe that, that a society, a community, a nation thrives and be healthy on what happens in the home. That's right. I believe the home is the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when God created man, he started with a home, mm -hmm. okay? And he said, Adam was there and he said, it is not good. The, 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 I, I, I'm not sure if there are any more times in the word where God said, made some man said, it's not good. Mm -hmm. But here he said, it's not good for man to be alone. And he created the woman. And then from there, he created family. And I, I think that family is so important. Husband and wife and children. Uh, God created that, that environment of, of love and security that we can bring up our children and that they can feel that they belong, they feel loved, they feel wanted, they feel a sense of security. Mm -hmm. When children feel secure in a home, uh, it reflects in their personality how they carry themselves, how the, even the kind of friends they choose, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, that uh, has a, 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 a double effect for the, the, the community mm -hmm. yeah, and, right. and, and for the nation. Mm -hmm. So uh, as mothers, um, mm -hmm. we, 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 I believe we set a tone. We mm -hmm. set a tone. I was talking just last week to a group of wives. Um, a wives ministry and I took them particularly to this same passage that you just read um, Dr. Farley uh, Proverbs chapter 31 and I said to them verse 11 and 12 uh, her the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he has no need of spoil she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Mm. And uh, verse 23, that's the one I wanted to focus on. Mm -hmm. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. Um, mm. In other words, her husband bears her image. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like, you see that gentleman? That's Mrs. So-and-so's husband. Mm -hmm. Her husband is known in the gates. The, so, so as wives and as mothers, I believe that we set a tone. We set a tone. We help to set the tone. Because I believe that husband and wife should work together in partnership, Please. right? That loving partnership, that loving partnership that uh, Ephesians chapter 5 talks about. And, and it is in that environment then that our children grow and thrive, learn how to share together, learn how to love each other, learn how to share with others, learn to be each other's keeper, mm -hmm. and, and so on. So I believe that as mothers, we set the tone. We need to set the, help to set the rules for our home, the standards for our home. You know, I remember when our children were young we, um, and they're going out, we would say, um, don't forget you belong to the Heinz family. Don't forget the Heinz standard, because a standard was set. A standard was set. They knew what was expected of them. Not that they always did it, because mm -hmm. as children, you know, as children, children will, will although we, we, we lay down our foundations and set our standards, many times children will go astray, mm -hmm. all right? Because of their own sinful nature, they will go astray. But the important thing is foundation. that this foundation is there. And we see it even with the prodigal son. You know, he, he, a foundation was laid, 
He had gone astray, but the time came when he came to himself. And, and, and you, 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 you come to yourself because something, a seed has been sown. Yeah. Something wonderful yeah. has been laid down there. Yeah. And he could stop and say, look, how many hired servants? He didn't even talk about his brother back home. Mm -hmm. But he could say, how many hired? He talked about hired servants. And if my, the hired servants in my father's house are treated so well, mm -hmm. I, I, I could as well go back. Wow. And, but here is the love of the father mm -hmm. who says, come, who is looking for him, sees him when he's coming, mm -hmm. and embraces him. So as, as, as mothers, we work together with our husbands to set that tone to, to set the standard of love, unconditional love. Love that says, I, 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 it doesn't matter how you behave. I am not loving the behavior, but I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. And that is something I find sometimes we, we as persons, you know, I, even as mothers find it hard. Sometimes we look at the behavior, and because the behavior is not good, um, we say, I don't like this child, or I can't stand this child, or this child makes me shame, or, or, or wh why, why did I even have this child? Ooh. So we're looking at behavior, mm -hmm. but we have to learn by the grace of God, and I, that is something that I had to ask God to help me with. That's a personal challenge that I had. Looking at behavior, you have to learn to look past the behavior and see the gift that God has given us. The gift of that child, that boy, that girl, that twin, as the case might be. Look and see the gift that God has given us. And ask him then mm -hmm. for the wisdom and understanding to know how to train up that child. How to, to meet the needs, whether it's the physical, the emotional, the financial. All the needs to help to meet the needs of that child. That, that then that child will grow in, in an environment that is conducive to growth and development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll right. stop there for now. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank you for that powerful introduction. Well, viewers, we'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back to all of you. And we want to thank Robert Haynes for that um, very, very useful and helpful uh, introduction in terms of the gift of motherhood. And you made the comment, though, Ruth, that I thought was I thought was so significant. You said that mothers should set the tone mm -hmm. to the rules and standards. And uh, we, we, we know that in the past, oftentimes, the issue of discipline mm -hmm. was left to, to the father. To the father, you know, yes. That's like, oh, you yes, do it, yes. <laughs> right, so and I'm, I heard that many times growing up in my own home. <laughs> yes. So I, I'm glad it, you said that, that, that mother should also be a part of the rule setting yes, process. Yes, yes. Uh, do you want to comment on that a little bit more though? Be, uh, because um, this is the, the, the blueprint that my husband and I have used in, 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 mm -hmm. in, as we train and brought up our children. Um, the importance of rules. We would sit together and, and I want to say to us that when we understand family and how God has created family to work together, there, there is no boss, there's a head. God has made the man the head. And, and, and that is a, a position that he, he cannot, well, <laughs> my husband always says to me, honey, don't use cannot, because persons can. <laughs> but he should not abrogate, mm -hmm. because that is his God-given position. So boss does not mean head? No, boss does not. Necessarily? No, 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 no. Boss does not mean does head. Does have to mean head? No, no, no. no. <laughs> should not mean head. Hey, should not mean head. <laughs> but sometimes, <laughs> right? that's right? the interpretation uh, be, of society, you know? Because <laughs> head speaks of divine leadership. Yes, yes. All right? So the word term boss has no... No place in the no, family. No, in, in the family. The, uh, outside of the family, in a yes. corporation, you yes. may have a boss. But yes. in your home, yes. there is leadership and headship yes. provided by yes. the male. And together, the two work together. together. 
the two work together. Um, we would have, we would cr help to create the rules for the home. And even not just my husband and I, but we, we used to have family meetings yes. once mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. Heinz and Heinz Incorporated would sit with the children mm -hmm. and review the previous month. Mm -hmm. What, what, the three, three questions. What was good? What was good? We always start there. What happened good? What made you feel good? What, and of course, what was not so good? Mm -hmm. what, what were some of the challenges that you faced, that we faced as a family? Mm -hmm. And then the third question, how can we make it better? Yes. How can we make it get better? Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of every month, we would have those meetings. Mm -hmm. Every person, and of course, we, we, would have, we would have set the rules first. And, and setting the rules were not just, they were not just our rules. And let me tell you something, it amazes me as to when you say to the children, um, all right, you have a part in this rule setting. Well, sometimes they set such hard rules that you have, you have to say to them, um, look, but these rules must be attainable, you know, you, you, yeah. you, you, be careful with that. Because um, would you really want mommy or daddy to do so and so? Yeah. So um, they're part of it. And when you get that buy-in. Yeah. What's the benefit of having your children, especially as they get older and teenagers and so on, what's the benefit of having them? be involved in setting those rules because then we we we, we, we learn to understand their hearts because yes. oftentimes we, we don't get into a teenager's heart we just hear what is coming out of their mouth mm -hmm. and, and and often that is informed by a whole lot of what is happening around them mm -hmm. you get into their hearts mm -hmm. this is my belief when you're able to say to them um show me the world from your perspective mm -hmm. uh, Tell me what's happening. What would you like to see change? Mm -hmm. How would something that I did do differently mm -hmm. um, impact on you? Mm -hmm. All right. And and when they see that you really mean it, mm -hmm. you don't just say it, you mean it. Th then you, you you get an interaction that is mm -hmm. that is 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 real. That is 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 wonderful. That is. But but you know, um, um mommy, so and so, and daddy, uh, and, and mommy, when you did so and so, uh, um, I I really felt this way about it because I I, I would not forget a time when um, I went and, and told my, my, my mother-in-law um, that my, oh dear, I'm telling out stories, but I don't mm. think she would mind, <laughs> that my, my daughter had had her first period. I was on the phone mm. and I said to my, my mother-in-law, um, you know, my daughter, and after when I put down the phone, my daughter said to me, mommy, but you're telling out my business though? Mm -hmm. And plus, mommy, I wanted to say that to grand grand myself. Yes. And I had to apologize. I had to apologize. I could I, I, I didn't say, I mean, and I could have, but, <laughs> but no. But I'm your mother. I, I, yes. <laughs> I, I apologize. And I said, yes, indeed, it is your person. But I thought that, and I'm sorry, you know, and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I would say, I would call back Gran and say to her, um, um, please ignore what I said to you. Janelle wants to deal with that herself, you know. So um, when we respect mm -hmm. even our children's Yes. Um, what, what they, who they are, mm -hmm. respect who they are, respect the fact that, that, that they have, they have um, um, things about them that, that are private, mm -hmm. things about them that are public, you can, but the, also that uh, respect their privacy and yeah. so on. Um, so when they're, they're able to share like that, I think mm -hmm. that's important. I think also what you're doing is that you're equipping them for parenthood themselves. Exactly. And they see, they see not just rules. But there's modeling yes. because yes. sometimes you can talk and tell children things, but when a parent, when a mother, father, when we when we model the behavior, oh, exactly. that speaks volumes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. I think this also has to do with the the child themselves as well too. Mm -hmm. How 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 mature they are, you know, how much um, they're willing to 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 engage. Of course, you you, you can set the context for them, mm -hmm. but yes. the maturity will also become a mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. Of that whole dynamic, you know, because because I, I realize over time though that that each child is different. Oh yes, yes. right. Every uh, single one of them. To, have to pair them them differently. Yes, yes. In, the, in that regard, I mean, not not that differences are necessarily mm -hmm. so huge, but the principles. Yes, you're not bending the principles, yes. but I mean the method that you deal with the children. Yes. but the principles right. are broad set. Yeah, yes, very, very another point you made early on, and I wish I like the whole idea of seeing the child through the eyes of unconditional love. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and don't focus on the behavior that may be negative sometimes. 
Because yeah. we, we, we remember we were children too. Not just sometimes, mm -hmm. many times. Many times. <laughs> many times. So, that, that is my personal yes. experience. But you see, you're saying, see them, see the gift yes. they are. Yes. And the gifts they, gifts they present. Yes. And that's a beautiful thought. And the unique <clears throat> value that they bring. Because every child brings a unique value yes. to your life. Yes. Yeah. It, it's unique. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, as I said, I have four of my own and my foster son. Each one is different and, and beautifully different. So differences don't divide us. Different no. Diversity exactly. enriches. Yes, right. yes. That's a mistake a lot of us make sometimes. We want to clone everybody into the same. Yes. But that's not God's intention. And, and, and the <laughs> worst thing we can say, well, one of the worst things we can say as parents is, I wish you were like your... Mm -hmm. I wish, you dangerous. know, That's dangerous. It, 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 it is so dangerous because it, it says you have no value yes. and you, you, you're not accepting the value of that person. Mm -hmm. You wish that person was somebody you're else. you also said not animosity between Ex the children. Exactly. So you have to be careful you, you, you see, you, you remember, and we, and we see it so much, um, and we, and we, we, don't, we don't have the full story from the word, but you see it with, with Jacob and Joseph mm -hmm. and the brethren. Yes. You know, you, you set apart this one, mm -hmm. you give him that pretty coat because he is somehow extra special. Mm -hmm. um, yes, God had extra special work for him, mm -hmm. but when you take a child out of all and you do that, you're, you're setting them up for failure or, 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 for, or, or for animosity. But that, but yes. that story also is one, but that account is one that's multi generational as well. Yes. Right? Oh. <laughs> and that's one of the, mm -hmm. the most it is uh, sad. important elements of that entire yes. account that it cross generations. Yes, and, right across. And that's the reason why mm -hmm. uh, we need to arrest certain behaviors now. Yes. Because they have the potential to cross over into yes. the next generation. Yes, yes, yes. And we don't want that to occur. No, you, know? you don't. From a mother's perspective, I know you've had, you've raised boys, you've raised, you've raised girls. One girl. One girl. Yes. So, what, how, how, how does a mother relate to the girl differently from the boy? What's the difference? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I think sometimes <laughs> girls are daddy's girls um, because I saw that in my home mm -hmm. and I've heard it uh, 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 as I do counseling and so yeah, on. Uh -huh. um, but um, boys, boys are, are special. I, I, I think that, that you, you get to understand that a boy, um, his, he wants to do. He wants to get out there and do, because in his doing, he is being. Mm -hmm. I know we understand that, mm -hmm. right? Because it, it, he, he needs to do in order to be the man, to grow up to be the man that he needs to be. Mm -hmm. While with the girl now, I find that, that she needs to understand that she is somebody of worth and value mm -hmm. so that um, as she grows, she is not taken advantage of and she learns to love herself as a person. I'm not saying that that's not necessary for boys as well, but I find that be, be, girls tend to be um, to, 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 to go into themselves sometimes when they don't see a, a, a avenue there for them to, 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 to be. So, so uh, while well, their, their being is not as much as doing, but their being is, when I look in the mirror, what do I see? What do I see when I look in the mirror? For some guys, they, they comb their hair. They don't even have to look in the mirror to comb their hair. They just, That's true. But, but while for the girl, uh, <laughs> image has a lot to do with it, mm -hmm. a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So I find that that's, that's the difference. And, and then even at home, you pick them up. When, 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 when our children are, are ready to go through the door, um, I, I, I would say my husband or myself, um, um, listen, don't let any, you say to the boys, don't let the girls carry you here. You look so handsome. You look so, boy, you look sexy. You, 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 you build them up that when they get out there and somebody says something else, already at home, they've got the power to be. Mm -hmm. So what the negative thing that they hear out there, that it, it's, it's more like, as my mother would say, water on a duck's back because you are being affirmed mm -hmm. in your place. Yeah. of security. So affirmation is critical. It is critical. And it, it should come from both mother, mother and, and father. Mother and father. Mm -hmm. Mother and father. Yeah. Do you affirm a boy different from a girl? Um, I think... Or you find the girl needs it more than a boy? Uh, but, uh, but I think <laughs> both need affirmation. Yes, yes, and, yes. And, and it has to do, and it, it depends too upon 
um, if, especially if, if one somebody has, like, suppose for the girls, you may have acne, even the boys. Mm -hmm. um, the, the affirmation then may be needed, you know, you're handsome. Mm -hmm. it, this, is, this is a problem in your skin that is showing, but, but that, that's not the real you. That's not the fine you. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 so I think the issue though really is back to what you said initially, home. that the home has home. to be mm -hmm. the, the place of anchor. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. uh, the place where there's that, um, you mentioned unconditional acceptance. Yes. Mm -hmm. My final comment begins with Matthew chapter 19, verse 14. The importance of children. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, Jesus himself, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. In other words, the kingdom of heaven belonged to the children. Mm -hmm. I think if we could just engender that mindset that children aren't a nuisance, mm -hmm. that we love them. Uh, and, and we may not love the behavior. Let, let, let's try to understand that. Love the child, not the behavior. But speak to be the behavior. I do not like, I am not going to accept that behavior. That behavior is not acceptable in this house. But you see you, I love you because you are special, you are a special person, you are a wonderful person, but that behavior, that behavior I'm not gonna to tolerate, and we're gonna work on that together. Mm -hmm. So we love the child unconditionally, and when we do that, we help them to develop, to, to even put off that behavior, mm -hmm. and put on something that is more positive, mm -hmm. something that is, that is more, more um, um, progressive and something that blesses you and blesses the family. Wonderful. Is that closing prayer for us? Yes. <laughs> Father, we give you thanks this morning for life. We thank you for mothers. Father, on this blessed Mother's Day, we pray that you will bless every mother that you will empower us with the spirit of wisdom and knowledge in the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ so that we would be the the mothers that you want us to be loving our children loving our husbands loving our families showing the love of Christ wherever we are and then may that love be spread abroad around us, not only in our homes, but even outside of our homes, as it reverberates in our communities and even into our nation. Bless us, bless us in this Barbados, as we seek to be all that you will have us to be. And we give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Hines. Appreciate You're welcome. sharing with us. Of course, we're gonna have you sharing with us in the next program as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you right. so much. Viewers, God bless you again to the moms over there from all of us who are here. Have a blessed Mother's Day. I'm sure it's five o'clock this after five, so we still have a few hours before the day is all over. God bless you.